My goodness, the wind has been atrocious. We had a bad windy day last week. Now today's insane. So I went to the grocery store and I'll show you the couple things I got. It's so random. I've been dealing with one of the worst ear infections I've ever had. It is so, it's been so painful. It's been giving me headaches, nausea, drowsiness, just uh, like this side of my head. I was practically on bed rest for two days. So I got some stuff to combat that. But anyway, first of all, I got eggs. They were out of these eggs, oddly enough, the other day when we went. So I had to go back to get those today. And then I got this new toothpaste. It's the Hello brand, anti-plaque whitening, fluoride free. It's peppermint with tea tree oil and coconut oil. I'm so about this like all natural products movement right now. I couldn't be happier about it. So I will let Zachary finish out the crest or whatever we're using. And I'm gonna start switching this and then eventually we'll both switch over to that. Why are we microdosing fluoride it's literally bad for us i don't understand it's so silly to me anyway the things i got for my ear i think this ear infection probably started a week ago and it got really bad on say maybe friday saturday it's tuesday when i'm filming this so i started a few different things i added vitamin c into my vitamin regimen and a really strong probiotic because i should be taking that anyways but i didn't want to pay for it this kind of made me bite the bullet so i started taking some strong probiotics those two things have been helping but i've also been soaking a cotton ball and apple cider vinegar and then putting that in my ear because that's supposed to help but i think these two things will help even more i got hydrogen peroxide obviously we know we like clean wounds with this and stuff so apparently if you put some on a q-tip and put it in the affected ear it's supposed to help clean up whatever is going on in there and then i restocked on these they're little tiny earwax swab things but they have a cup on the end. They have this little spoon shape and it is perfect for collecting earwax out of your ear. These tools are a lifesaver. So I'm hoping I can use this, get stuff moving and shaking in there and then I can like scoop stuff out with this. I know that sounds disgusting, but that's the truth. My ear has been driving me nuts. I've also been back on my bone broth grind. I kind of slacked off on that. I've been eating sauerkraut every single day, more than I would normally eat. I'm doing things basically that are good for your immune system in general, but specifically things that are good for your gut because everything in your body starts in your gut. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so I watered the plants the other day, as I do, and noticed created a mess all down the wall. So I'm going to try to get this cleaned up. Oh, that came off easy peasy. Also, this plant is not doing good. I cannot figure out how to make it happy. I've moved it around so it gets more light, less light. I tried doing more water, less water. I don't know. It like grows new leaves, but then eventually like the big leaf will fall off. This will grow into a big leaf. It'll fall off. So I don't know. It's like doing decent, but like not great. Any tips? Let me know. It's a zebra plant. My pothos is doing so good. When I bought this, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago, all the leaves were like up to here. And now they're so long, beautiful. They get tangled into each other. I love this plant so much. It's come to my attention that being in the process of reading a good book will keep you from doing anything else productive you need to do for the day. So I'm having to like force myself to get off the couch and do stuff instead of continuing to read my book because I love it so much. I'm working on sending back some Amazon dresses. Just trying to make sure I have it all in order here. I've been loving reading my like romance novels so much that I went, I think I went and added like five or six more to my Goodreads want to read list this morning. I keep telling myself like I'm never going to finish my list because I'm adding books to my list way faster than I'm reading. And then I was telling Zachary how much I'm enjoying my books and <laughs> 
His genius idea was that we take a month long trip somewhere uh, with like some sort of beach view like Florida and just take that month and just read and just relax and hang out. And as much as I love that idea, I don't know that that's practical for us. I have to share a secret with you guys, but this battery is gonna die, so one sec. I'm pretty sure that most of you have caught on to this by now. When I do my like try on hauls, whether that be dresses, bikinis, whatever it is, I would say 90% of the time I return it. I guess a better way to word that would be I return 90% of the items. Now, Here's why. Buying stuff every week, every other week to do like a full six to eight item haul is expensive. <laughs> and there's never a time where I need eight new swimsuits or eight new dresses. So I, I truly buy them for the sake of the video, the review of the items. And then I return about 90% of them. The only time I keep something is if I'm 100% obsessed with it and it's not too pricey. Do you guys know Target's return policy is a year? I find that so hard to believe, but I looked it up online and it literally says you have 365 days to return items. But returning to Amazon when you do the try before you buy is so freaking easy because they send all of the return labels with your order. Anyway, yeah, that's my secret. I cannot afford to do all of the shopping and keep everything. Not yet, at least. And yes, when I try them on, most of the time, I will take Instagram pics in them too to post on Instagram, which just goes to show social media is not real. I mean, it can be real, but most of the time, for me at least, it's just not. I don't know, I like to have a good cute outfit, take an Instagram pic, post it, you know. I'm all packaged up. This is so many boxes. It's kind of embarrassing. And it's not my fault. They sent my one order in four separate packages. So now I have to send it back in four packages. The hot girl walks are getting serious, y'all. <laughs> 76 degree weather knocked me right out. Four mile walk. I feel like I ran a marathon. But nothing hits better than a cold honey crisp apple cut up in slices after being on a long hot girl walk. I got some burnt. Yeah, pretty. I mean, it's not that bad, but it doesn't feel great. I'll be fine though. It's okay. I'm gonna get some natural sunscreen so it doesn't happen again. And by the way, I'm loving this toothpaste. My teeth feel 10 times cleaner and I don't feel like a peppermint bomb went off in my mouth it feels like a natural like subtle peppermint huge fan of that it might be twice the price of normal toothpaste but i think it's worth it wow you can really see my sunburn from here honestly it's not that bad it was worse yesterday throw a little aquaphor on there get it extra moisturized good to go i curled my hair sort of i put it in a ponytail and then like curled the ends because my hair is a grease ball. It needs to be washed. I didn't feel like it. So I'll wash it tomorrow. Maybe. Been in this weird, like, stagnant mood. Is that the right word? I finished reading my book today. It was so good. I loved it. Now I'm like, eh, I don't really care to do anything else. But I need to do stuff because I'm practically just working weekends now. So I need to do my other stuff during the week instead of the weekends, which is kind of opposite for me. So I'm trying to get used to that. So I threw some clothes in the wash. I think I need to vacuum. Please tell me. Okay. The amount of hair that I lose in a single day is concerning. I don't know if it's normal or if I'm going to be bald in three weeks. Like I truly couldn't tell you. Watch now. It's not going to happen because I'm filming it. But if I normally were to just run my hand through my hair like this, so much hair would come out. Like looks like I got two pieces. But... I mean, I did just brush my hair. I'm talking like hair balls, like this big when I roll it all up multiple times a day. Am I balding? Maybe. I'm, my mind is everywhere right now. Anyways, back to getting things done. I need to clean this house and I have no interest in doing it. I'm gonna tell you guys a trick. When you need to clean and you absolutely don't feel like it, my trick is to do a couple, like two or three things that make it feel like you cleaned, even if you didn't really. So like, for example, these rugs get so dirty and gross because they're 
white obviously like makeup spots and dog drool and stuff they just get gross they're also just full of all of my hair that falls out okay bub hi so anyway the trick to this vacuum your rugs and the bathroom's gonna look like i cleaned the whole darn thing and then the dog will lay right on them once i'm done and it'll look like i never did it <laughs> That looks a little better. I'll probably throw them in the wash over the weekend to get the get the nastiness out. Whenever I say I'm gonna do something, I'll probably do the opposite. So I just gave our master bedroom like a full deep clean <laughs> after I just stated that I didn't wanna clean and I was gonna be lazy about it. But I'm literally not touching the rest of the house. Like I can't, I don't care. I don't care anymore. The master's good, that means I'll sleep good. Can someone please tell me what we're watching on Netflix nowadays or whatever you watch your TV on? I'm in between shows at the moment. The last thing I watched was the ultimatum that show was so bad the entire concept of that show was so stupid long story short it was basically i think six couples to start with and the reason they were on the show is because one person in each couple had given an ultimatum to the other person that they needed to propose to them or they were going to break up so they brought all six couples together and they basically broke up for the three weeks and lived with a different person that came with like their partners they basically like swapped partners and had to experience living with them for three weeks and then had to decide if they were still going to like be with their person propose to them or break up hot mess i watched it though so now i'm kind of just like i don't know what i'm gonna watch next i want to know if you guys are watching anything that you think i should watch i do tend to like trash tv like that show but that was just extra bad and right now zachary and i are going through all of the marvel movies that are part of the mcu the other night we finished oh we watched black widow we're watching it in release order not chronological so we just watched Black Widow and next is Shang-Chi, which I don't care to watch. Like, I have no interest in that, but that's what our movie game is looking like at the moment. And I just want a good show to watch. Mm -hmm. 